Hi, this is Arnav here, aka Sergi Arts, and today I'll be doing a very short tutorial on making short hairs for in game characters. And the tools that I'll be using for this creation process is ZBrush, Fiber Mesh, Maya, and Photoshop. Basically, uh, from the uh, from my past experience or from my professional experience in game industry, whenever there's a task of creating hair, in game hair specifically, yeah, uh, it's a real pain in ass because uh, first of all, number one, it's extremely repetitive work. Uh, you don't get the fun. The fun element is completely missing. Uh, you always uh, tend to be bored by the same repetitive task doing over and over. And uh, finally, which tends uh, to create something which is not at all. Uh, good looking and you are also unhappy at the end of the result so uh, I always uh, tended to find a process in which I can do something faster easier and cooler so let's do it without wasting any time let's let's jump into this action okay so we are in ZBrush now and uh, I'll be loading a head basically it's one of my personal character uh, I'm, I'm doing a dwarf character and i'll be doing a hair test onto it let's see how the, how it turns okay so here we are and uh, i've deleted all those unnecessary polygon count and other parts so now we are ready to go so the first thing that i'll be doing is uh, i'll draw the areas in mask where i want the hair to be grown Okay, so I roughly define the hair length and here we can turn on preview. So immediately a huge bulk of fiber mesh will be created. Next thing I'll be do, I'll doing, I'll go to modifier and first of all, uh, since we are going uh, for an in-game hair, we don't need so much dense here because mostly we'll be working in silhouette. So basically we need the hair cards to be placed to define the silhouette and not the volume. So we should emphasize more on the silhouette rather than creating the volume because we'll be already creating that either in our mesh or in a hair cap. So I'll reduce the max fiber to something around 15. Let me see. Still denser. I'll make it 8. I'll go and definitely reduce the length something around 75 no, okay we'll do something around 55 let's see okay that's fine we can even reduce the max fiber count see something around 4 Uh, there is another thing which is bringing this hair down uh, lean a bit that is gravity and we can reduce it to something around uh, 0.17 or 0.15 it will make the hair look more spiky but it will give us more freedom to work on the grooming brushes because we are not creating polygroups over here which is very popular in other internet tutorials that uh, creating polygroup and doing grooming separately but i think it's again very boring and tedious while we are doing this uh, in game here so once after doing this what we will do we'll quickly jump on to something called coverage now the coverage is the magic button which i was looking for probably two years almost to find out a process which will create instant cards so when we increase the coverage see what happens we get something extremely extremely wide equivalent to in-game cards i'll reduce the fiber count even to something around maybe 0.5 you should notice that i have made the coverage completely 5000 and we cannot go beyond it so even if i type something around 8000 it will come back to 5000 and coverage area variation is something where it will create some variations so this will again create some variations in the width of this particular cards 
so right now the coverage variation is 1 and if it's minus 1 it's all crazy so probably we can find some magic number in between okay we have something some other attributes also which I don't find that much valuable uh, in case of creating the in-game here so we can f go around something like scale root what it does it widens the root of the hair and the same for the scale tip what it does it widens the tip of the hair but in any way I don't find them that much useful at this moment so I'll bring the scale root to 1 and also the tip root to 0.75 Okay, next uh, what we'll be doing, we'll be using the grooming brush. So before using the grooming brush, we can also check the length if we need something. So basically we were, I'm, 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 I'm targeting to create something, some kind of army here. And not exactly army here, but very short hair, uh, short hair kind of guy to keep his aggressive look intact. So currently at this moment I'm pretty happy with this width because I cannot go beyond it if anybody really knows a process to how widen it further please help me and post in my uh, comments so next I'll do uh, what I'll do is I'll just go to uh, this fiber mesh and just a second accept it so when we go to sub tool will find those fiber meshes created okay and since I'm in solo I should get out of it and next thing I'll be doing I'll just groom it around I'll escape from the masking mode I'll take some groom brushes press G and this is groom blower this is chrome brush one let's try something with the chrome brush one I'm sorry I should select the here sub tool I'm just giving them a sh something some shape and if you're stuck in some position like many of the brushes are getting along or I'm sorry many of the cards are getting along to some position again blow it so Blowing will again separate them and give them a different direction. So as I told at the beginning of my tutorial, it's only a guide, it's not a step-by-step -step process. Basically to achieve this uh, thing, it took me a long because I never knew how I can uh, I can create something like this, hair cards. And uh, I'm happy that I'm sharing this with you guys because I am 100% sure like when you'll be watching this tutorial after that you'll ex also experiment and I definitely want you guys to put values like uh, I mean further values or further calculations which will make this here look much more better so once we are done with the grooming I'll just fast first groom it and while using the grooming brush I'm always conscious about the viewing angle like from which angle this model will be seen and how much this particular cards basically how much each of these particular cards are contributing to create the silhouette so you have to be very cautious about that because unnecessarily we can we cannot keep on adding uh, cards or to just to create the volume of the hair the volume can be well taken care of by a hair cap uh, mesh but if you want to create a good silhouette the hair cards will definitely contribute in that situation so I think uh, this is this is fine this is absolutely fine for my purpose just to define in a tutorial so once we are done with that I can go to maybe I can try some inflate brush let me see how it behaves we can also try some deformation maybe it's totally going crazy <laughs> okay let's go with it now before exporting it to Maya we should always consider the fact that these are 
currently some UV less cards and well if you if you really want to do some UV in Maya I'm sure people will go nuts because there are so many cards right at this moment so there is a magic tool again in the box of ZBrush what uh, I discovered later on is when you go to UV map and when we just click create there's something absolutely wonderful called fiber UV now this fiber UV is a magic tool because whenever you click it what it does is it will create instantly a particular single placed UV pack of all the hair at once now to test that let ex let's export it just export it in my desktop which is a very untidy one save now I'll open Maya you can see this is the same mesh I used to show in ZBrush and I have used the same technique to create this here so I'll just delete these clumps import so let's see we have got some separate separate clumps because I think I have turned on the groups while exporting that's not a very big deal for me right at this moment because and after selecting this if we go to UV texture editor to our wonder we can see that there is only one UV which is absolute pleasure because we don't have to UV each of the cards individually or transfer over whatever shit we do in our professional pipeline of creating here because that's really some pain in us I will select that polygon UV snapshot I'll take a 1024 res I'll open Photoshop here is our UV <coughs> and I'll just put some random color because whatever we need to do we need to do it in alpha so I'll just first first create for test purpose nothing fancy some hair strands I'll do it in a separate layer I'll go through the process fast first one once more still the time I pause the video okay so here I have created it once again I'll just create a duplicate version of this hair strand and transform it I'll just do some separate wrap duplicate and scale transform it few more times to give some different kind of look okay and to just to define the base I think I should okay so let's see layers I don't really care whether they're falling in place or not I will definitely move the UVs according to them uh, I definitely recommend you to do it much more carefully though I'm not doing it exactly right now because I need to do it faster I'm doing some fast fast gradient work So I'll save this and I'll go to this one, assign new material, Lambert, turn this off, alpha, this texture, you can see this texture has come immediately, I think due to some problem, this come inverted, what we'll do, we will select them and place them properly I'm just doing it extremely fast and 
extremely carelessly too because I just want to tell you the process not step by step show you so once it's done we can go to material attributes this alpha I'll select alpha 1 and in shedding I think I'm in report 2 let's go to legacy report I'll give polygon transparency sorting so viola our hair is created I know it looks extremely ugly at this moment because we I haven't spent much of the time but in a short period of time I have shown you how fast and how easily we can create hair cards and randomly place it and definitely there is a scope that you can select each of the card and do further manipulation well uh, placing each of the cards would have taken ages and ends to create all this process but if we do it through zbrush fiber mesh it's really really faster really really easier and probably you can you can have some more time in your pocket to put in creative end of your work rather than to do some repetitive shit thank you for watching this video please put your comments like where you can put some other values to get better result much faster and please contribute to this channel have more likes subscribes because i'll be putting new new interesting things on cg and some other aspects of an 3d artist's life so enjoy thank you